The term voice leading refers to how one note leads to the next. In four-part chorale style, there are four voices, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. In the classical style, composers tend to follow several general voice leading principles. From the perspective of human perception and cognition, these principles present the most efficient way to achieve independent voices that blend simultaneously into a single harmonious sound. There's nothing natural or inherently good about these aesthetic goals, but they were prized by composers of the classical canon, and as such, they provide a useful tool for understanding that repertoire. If you're mindful of the larger perceptual consequences of any voice leading choice, however, you effectively remove style from the equation. Consider these stylistically contrasting examples, each of which contains a noticeable leap that creates a mini climax. Despite using a very different harmonic language, these examples make use of a style-neutral principle of voice leading. Within a texture that consists primarily of stepwise motion, leaps attract attention. This leads to an overarching principle of voice leading, which might sound counterintuitive at first, but which will pay great dividends over time. Basic voice leading should be boring. Let's think about this from a perceptual standpoint, and in particular that of auditory scene analysis and pattern recognition. How do humans distinguish multiple sound sources from one another? How can we focus on what a friend is saying, for example, while a baby is crying and a plane is flying by? Albert Bregman's research on auditory scene analysis shows that the brain uses several different criteria to attribute sound streams to their respective sources, such that we can identify where each sound is coming from. One criterion that has serious implications for voice leading is closeness of register. When sounds occupy the same area of a staff, they're more likely to be perceived as coming from the same source. If our goal is to write blended harmony and not elaborate counterpoint, it's preferable for voices to be fairly close together and to move as little as possible. This principle is sometimes referred to as parsimony as a voice leading, and ensures that each voice stays in its own lane, so to speak, while nonetheless forming a blended whole with the others. If voices were to leap about haphazardly, we'd have more trouble parsing the texture into its constituent auditory streams. So what about pattern recognition? A texture that moves primarily by step, or simply stays still on common tones, creates a normative state of stepwise motion. And when our brains become accustomed to voices moving by step, any leap creates a salient contrast. This doesn't mean you should avoid leaps, but you should be mindful of the effect they have when you use them. The first order of business, however, is to master stepwise voice leading. <laughs> 